Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about peg exchange rates. Here's what I'm going to talk about. What is a peg and why do countries peg their currencies? Let's start with the first question. What is a peg? Here's the thing about this first question is the confusion is, is a peg the same thing as a fixed exchange rate? And the answer is kind of complicated, but I'm going to try to clarify it and try to tell you why there's a slight difference in meaning between the two, even though they still get used interchangeably quite a bit. Here's the deal. Let's talk about a fixed exchange rate. What's a fixed exchange rate? That's when a country decides to fix the conversion rate between their currency and gold, generally speaking, okay? Or some metal that's out there, but usually gold, right? So a fixed exchange rate is when a country says to the rest of the world, hey, you can exchange my currency for gold at some fixed amount, okay? Think $35 to an ounce of gold, okay? So $35 will give you an ounce of gold. That's a fixed conversion rate between the dollar and gold. That's a fixed exchange rate, okay? I like to think about also one part of this fixed exchange rate is not just that that 35 for an ounce is being fixed, but that gold is somewhat fixed, right? We can't create gold, we can't destroy gold. Yes, we can find some more gold, but overall there's only so much gold out there. Maybe it'll increase a little bit as we find some more, but it just can't like swing a lot, right? So we're fixed to something fairly stable, okay? Now, here's the next thing. World War II happens, and after World War II, and basically during World War II, um, we had all kinds of uh, issues with global trade. We want to bring more stability to the world. And we say a way to bring more stability is more stability in currency rates, and that's going to increase the amount of trade around the world so that we don't have World War II again. We meet at a conference known as Bretton Woods, and at Bretton Woods, the Bretton Woods system is born. And it, yes, I'm kind of doing a high level here. But with the Bretton Woods system, here's what we did. We said, hey, we're going to fix, yes, the word fixed again, we're going to fix the U.S. dollars to gold, okay? We're going to say, hey, there's a conversion rate, $35 to an ounce of gold, okay? And we said that to all the countries. You can exchange U.S. dollars for gold at a fixed amount. And then other countries basically were supposed to then fix their currency value to the dollar. Now, I might say pegged or I might say fixed, but I'm going to say fixed right now, even though it sounds very peggish to me, but it's fixed. Why is it fixed? Because they're fixing themselves to a currency that is fixed to gold, right? So we call that a system of fixed exchange rates. Again, other currencies said, hey, I'm going to do our conversion rate to the dollar. So fix our conversion rate to the dollar, promise a conversion rate with the dollar. And the dollar or the people, you know, the United States is going to promise a conversion rate with gold, system of fixed exchange rates. Then 1971 and finalized in 1973, the United States breaks from the system. What do I mean by that? They say, hey, we are no longer going to convert U.S. dollars to gold, meaning, hey, countries, you bring us our dollars. We're not giving you gold anymore. We broke that, right? We said, no, that's not going to happen anymore. We were not fixed to gold anymore. Now, over you know the next few years, some countries decided not to be fixed to the U.S. dollar or pegged, whichever word you want to use right now, but other countries stayed fixed or pegged, okay? Now, really the word peg is the one that's going to come um, forward in my discussion here because here's the deal. That meant the U.S. dollar was floating against a lot of other currencies out there, right? So it began to float. But again, some currencies remained pegged to the U.S. dollar. So we stopped using the word fixed because fixed, again, was either I'm fixing my currency to gold or a system in which other people fix their currency to mine, but mine was fixed to gold or a currency was fixed to gold. Once that tire fixed to gold broke, we stopped using the word fixed altogether. So again, the U.S. dollar can float, okay, against a lot of currencies out there. In countries that have pegged their conversion rate or exchange rate to the U.S. dollar, yes, they're pegged to it. There is a pegged exchange rate. You can almost say fixed, but don't, right? We don't use that word so much anymore. Um, it's pegged to it, but that dollar can float, okay? So the word pegged is now used. The word fixed pretty much has fallen by the wayside. So much so that some people still use them interchangeably because they just say, hey, we don't even have the word fixed anymore. <laughs> but anyhow, the word pegged is probably the better word nowadays, okay? So that's what is a pegged exchange rate. Why do countries peg their exchange rate. Mainly, the only countries that peg their exchange rate are developing countries, okay? Smaller countries that want to develop. All major developed countries do not peg their exchange rate. They allow their currency value to float in markets, okay? They might manage that float, but they don't peg to anything, okay? 
But developing countries, smaller countries, do peg to certain currencies, usually the US dollar or the euro or some market basket of currencies, okay? I'm just gonna keep it simple and talk about the Jordan dinar, which is pegged to the US dollar, okay? Now, why would a country, a developing country, do this? Because, again, they're a small country, and since they're a small country, that means the, flood, the, the exchange rate, their exchange rate in a market, and just a free market, could change a lot. And that creates a lot of uncertainty where they don't wanna have uncertainty. If their exchange rate could fluctuate a lot if they didn't pay, that's going to be problematic for many things, okay? Here's some of the big things. They want to develop, they want to attract foreign investment. Well, foreign investors want to be sure that when they come into a country, they can leave the country at an exchange rate that they know in advance, okay? They don't want to be able to come in and then all of a sudden the currency just drops a ton and they try to pull their money out and they lose everything. They will be much more interested in investing in a country if they know the conversion rate when they leave that country. So again, developing countries say, hey, I will take on the full risk. I will do it by pegging, by guaranteeing it. And that's one of the things I want you to get out of this video is a pegged exchange rate. When a developing country pegs their exchange rate to say the dollar or the euro, it is a promise, okay? They're promising. They're taking on that risk themselves, that uncertainty themselves. He said, we will convert it at uh, our currency for, their, for, for this other currency or the other currency for our currency at this particular rate, we guarantee it. Giving stability to those foreign investors, giving comfort to those foreign investors, oh, okay, they've taken on the risk, I will invest there. Also, these developing countries want global supply chains built through their country. Again, they don't want their currency fluctuating a whole lot. That's going to create problems for these global supply chains. So, again, the country, the government says, well, let's fix it. Or the central bank of the country says, let's, oop, I use the word fix. Let's peg it, right? Let's peg it to some currency out there like the dollar or the euro that's far more stable. And by the way, the dollar and the euro, these are official reserve assets. These are the uh, currencies that we settle international payments in. So, let's Convert, uh, peg it to either the dollar or the euro to give, again, comfort to people who might build global supply chains through our country. And again, even the manufacturers um, inside of the developing countries, they want to have a guaranteed exchange rate when they're buying inputs to their production processes, right? They don't want to build out a manufacturing um, uh, facility in a developing country and they have to buy inputs and yet that convert, that, that exchange rate can change a whole lot, bringing a lot of uncertainty that would scare them off. So the government, again, pegs the exchange rate. So why do they do it? To take risk and uncertainty off of foreign investors, whether financial investors or multinational corporations that want to build facilities or whatever the situation is, they're trying to create some stability in their exchange rate for their currency. And that means they make a promise to all of them that they will guarantee a conversion rate, which can be problematic because sometimes market forces bring the market exchange rate outside of their peg range. And by the way, that's right. Pegs are generally a very small range. They're not a specific amount. They're just a very narrow range. But when that market goes down here and the currency becomes overvalued, or that market goes up here and the currency becomes undervalued, those countries have to make some really tough decisions on what to do. And we'll have other videos on that. Hope that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.